and uh, we were sitting around a campfire. The old uh, boy started talking, and so I mouthed off. I said, I'm sorry my people took your people's land away from them. The old boy, his eyes squinted down. You could tell I ticked him off. And I said, I'm sorry if I said something wrong. And he said, your people did not take this land away from my people. My people gave it away. And I said, I'm listening. And he said, it's pretty simple. He said, my people, Native Americans are called nowadays. He said, I still call them Indians. That's what I call myself as an Indian. He said, we the Indians were here for 10,000 years, maybe 15,000 years, depending on who you believe. He said, those people, they had thousands of years to get out of and to get away from the Stone Age. To get away from the Stone Age, to get away from arrows, to get into metalworking. They had 10,000 years to unite the tribes. When Columbus landed in America, even though he didn't quite get here, when he landed in America, there were 500 languages spoken in this continent. 500! And if you crossed over into another neighbor's uh, uh, territory, hunting grounds, there's a good chance you'd get killed. And if they could steal one of your women, or steal something from you, they did it. He said they had thousands of years to unite their languages, thousands of years to unite the tribes, thousands of years to advance. But they got hooked and locked in the Stone Age. And he said, I curse them for it. He said, they could have had it all. He said, we, the Native Americans, if you want to call us that, over here, he said, we could have been so advanced, we'd have went over to Europe in the Dark Ages easily, and we would have taken that continent instead of them coming over here and taking us. He said, my people were so stupid, they killed all the horses. They didn't save and were ecologists. They wiped them out. And a bunch of other species, they wiped them out for food. So don't tell me that uh, we need to go back to those days. I'm here to tell you that my people screwed up big time. And I will personally never forgive them. We kind of looked at each other and then at him again. And we realized that he had a point that as cool as living in the Stone Age might have been in some aspects, they should have advanced in 10,000 years. This is McCook's Mr. Bill. Enjoy your arrowhead hunting, and remember, the only way to find them nowadays is to dig.